shots. All right, here we go. We're the nation's foremost mystery voice competition. Accept no substitute. It is. It's a mystery. And who's on the line today? Hello. 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 Who's that then? It's Catwoman. Catwoman. No, Catwoman. Julian, as in the English derivative of Julius. Oh, Julian. As, as in Julius Caesar. Yes. The proud Norman Roman Emperor, right? Who, despite conquering our fair land, pillaging our worldly goods, and convincing our women that slapping dickle can last longer than two minutes and that you can do it with the candles on, we stabbed in the back by the treacherous Brutus, and that responsible for one of the great historical quotations of all time. Mm. There he lay, mortally wounded on the steps, lying in the pool of his own blood, whereupon he turns to his one-time friend and says, a two brute. Look, we translated as what that are you playing at, Bruto? Right, yeah. That's right, isn't it? That's absolutely right. Tell me history. On. Yes, indeed, so, yeah. And uh, where are you from then, Julian? Uh, Colchester, Mark. Oh, right, well, a fine Roman town. Well, yeah, British oldest town, you know. Built Is it? As, what? I didn't know. That. Yeah, built as it was by the Romans. Right, there's a historic Roman wall. There's a Roman arch on Priory Street, Gospec right. Farm, right, the site of the great Roman amphitheatre. The what of the great Roman amphitheatre? The site of the great Roman That's what amphitheatre. I you said, yeah. Yes, and on the high street, the first ever branch of Domino Pizza. Oh, oh it's got riddled with history, this oh, place. Oh, right, you should be, you should be the uh, tourist board officer for Colchester. I agree with you. You should be the Mike Chadwick of Colchester. Oh, you, uh, Chadmaster, whoa. Oh, there you go, right. And, uh, are you married, Julian? Uh, I, I'm happily divorced, Mark. Right, yes. From a cow called Cleo. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm. Sure for Cleopatra. Really? Yeah. It was a right nasty do, you know. She ran off with my best mate, Mark Anthony. Oh, right. Mind you, some good news came through last week, Mark. I heard that she'd been bitten on the arse by a glass snake on the common. It came all like a balloon. Really? Yeah, we'll sing you know, more, eh? All right, then. Fair enough. Uh, well, would you like to have a go at this quiz? Do you know how much the prize is? I'm going to just low. Five pounds. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it should be a lot of cash. It certainly is a lot of cash. Yeah. yeah. Right, OK. Is it the Italian stallion, Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> It's not a... No. No, it isn't. It was a good guess, though. It, it was a good guess, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I can give you a clue. Yes. He is very famous. <laughs> he. Are you ready? Yes. Ready for a bit of snatch? Yeah. All right, here always. we go, then, yes. That smells off to me. Oh. That smells off to me. Yeah. Sounds a bit roomy, doesn't it? Sounds yeah. like recorded in a flash hotel in some foreign location, perhaps Verona. You know, you mentioned it. Yeah, it's got that sort of Italian flavour to it. Is it Don Canelone? Who? Don Canelone, your godfather! No, it's Don not Don Corleone, a... I mean, no, it's the... me, no! No, it's not a... Wait, you're a good guess. It's not a, right. Uh, listen to this, here comes a bit more, right? Well, I'm well known for being a ladies' man, and I've had it away with a bevy of usually blonde beauties such as Britt Eklund and Alana Hamilton. But I only get me prompt skirt because I'm a big-nosed, skinny, sex-pop pop star who sings stuff like Hot Legs until you think I'm sexy. And for some reason, I seem to think I'm Scottish. But I'm not. I'm a cockney. <laughs> Right, yeah. so a few clues in there, right? Brit Eklund, Lana Hamilton, Hot Legs, do you think I'm sexy? Big nose, right? Seems to think he's Scottish, but is in fact a chim chimney. Yes, a few clues in there. There were a few of you. If, if you knew where to look, it's easy for me to say you've got to know where to look for them. It's a bevy of brown beauties and something. Is it the villain one out of only fools and horses, is it? Hmm? The villain one out of only fools and horses. She licked the Linders! Nicholas Linders! Twadders! It's not her! No! It's not her! Oh, no! Could have no. sworn it was going to be mm, her! Right, yeah, no, it's not, I'm afraid. No, no! Well, I'm afraid you've not won! That's tragic! But it's been lovely having you on the programme. Oh, and likewise! Mm, uh, uh, would you like to know who it was before you went? Oh, go on then! It was Rod Stewart! <laughs> 